Time now for our top six teams. It's time to rank our top six teams. Uh, Bump is going first. All right. We'll see if he can read his, the monitor. Let's see if we got it. <laughs> he hasn't gotten contact since the last time we tried this. Who you Hard got? for me to see, but I think I got it. That's why I got my list right here. I got Oregon, UCLA, Utah, USC, Oregon State, and then UW. No doubt about it, Oregon is the best team in the conference right now. Bo Nix is playing at an incredible level. Um, you talk about Franklin as well, the wide receiver. All the weapons that they have is real. UCLA over there. Now, this was a team that I was kind of – surprised that they're playing this well because to start the season I didn't like their strength of schedule um, but they're playing some good football as well Utah is Utah they're always going to hang around they're going nowhere they're going to play discipline they're going to run the football they're going to get tight ends involved and then SC it's kind of been a disappointment but I think that they have enough to go on a run here and make the championship game you got Caleb Williams over there you got the best receiver in all the land over there as well and then um, Oregon State man just a tough team 91 at home from, uh, since last year you found a star in Martinez even with the quarterback issues they're still finding a way to win ball games and then you dub you got the leading passer in the country over there if they can play some defense and go on a run you never know that's my six not bad it's not bad now it's my turn here's the real six. are you gonna change anything <laughs> no no here, here's, here's the, the real six either. yeah 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 it, we're very similar i have to say <laughs> this was tough um but I also have Oregon at the top, and I just think they're, they're playing at an incredible level, and it's going to be extremely tough for anybody to stop them for the rest of this season. UCLA has earned the right to be number two on my list. I think they're a physical bunch. The brand of football that they play is sustainable and will be extremely tough to beat. Number three is Utah. After their win over USC, that's where they got number three. So four is Utah. Five is Washington. Now, the interesting thing about my top four, Oregon – and who are they play? Oregon and USC? No, Oregon and Utah. Yeah. Utah goes to Oregon in the next five weeks, and right. UCLA and USC play in the next five weeks. Yeah. So I think that there's going to be some shuffling up yeah. uh, in, with those top four. And also, I think that that gives UW a chance to sneak in. UW does not play Utah. UW does not play USC this year. Right. They do play Oregon on the road, and on the road is where everybody – I mean, you look at that list, there have been two – Good road wins from that list in league play, yeah. right? That was uh, Oregon at Washington State Correct. and USC at Oregon State. The other thing, yeah. it, it, this is to the point Shane made, you guys earlier, you said you think it's going to be Oregon and the winner of USC-UCLA, and you th said you think it's going to be Oregon and USC, and you guys both have SC fourth, and who could really argue at this point with it based on some of the head-to-heads? Yeah. yeah. Like you wouldn't yeah. put them ahead of Utah necessarily, but... Yeah, and I think the one thing that's saving Oregon, just because the trend that's been going on this season of, of good teams losing on the road, yeah. I think the one thing that's saving Oregon is they play Utah and USC at Autzen Stadium. Yeah, they do, have to go, they do have to go on the road to play the Beavs at the end of the year, though. Yeah. So.